Eamon, I've got to talk to you about Buffalo uh, before I go. That's what we led the show with tonight. And I've got to say something. Yeah. I want to say something that normally you and I might talk about in private, that normally brown people might talk to each other about in private. But I do want to say it on TV tonight because it's important, which is that if you and I, let's be honest, brown Muslim men on TV were echoing and saying the racist and conspiracy stuff that Muslim brown terrorists were saying, we would be rightly finished as public figures. How is it that white conservative cable hosts can basically say the same stuff that white supremacist terrorists are saying? I mean, I think the short answer to that is there's a double standard. And they're absolutely right. Can you imagine the outrage if either of these hosts, or any host who identifies as Muslim, particularly if they are black or brown, were to get on TV and echo the rhetoric that an extremist used to justify mass slaughter? How many minutes would Fox News spend on them? We would be rightly finished as public figures. How is it that white conservative cable hosts can basically say the same stuff that white supremacist terrorists are saying? I mean, I think the short answer to that is there's a double standard because all you have to see is look what has happened in Buffalo. Look at the way the great replacement conspiracy racist theory has been mainstreamed in this country by uh, yeah. cable news hosts. That the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement. If you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots, with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. But they become hysterical because that's that's what's happening, actually. Let's just say it. That's mm. true. The way it has been mainstreamed by the Great Replacement Caucus in Congress, the representatives who peddle in the xenophobic, uh, anti-immigrant rhetoric, uh, it is extremist ideology that ultimately is going to lead to uh, violence. And we see that time and time again. And yet there is no accountability for that rhetoric. So it, it is completely disheartening. But as you and I know very well, there is a double standard in terms of the language that is used and the rhetoric Just, that is used by certain people and what they're able to get away with, no? Yeah, and violence doesn't happen in a vacuum. I know there's people on Fox this weekend saying it's to do with video games and it's to do with mental health. It's always, it's always mental health. It's funny how brown people never get to be mentally ill. Only white gunmen get to be mentally ill, not brown gunmen. Two MSNBC hosts decided to have what they described as a conversation usually kept between themselves on air in which they perfectly called out the clear racial double standard. But what I would say is the other double standard is this, and that is that when the whole, you know, when the war on terror debate was at its peak, we were being told that we can't just talk about the violent people. We need to talk about the preachers of hate. We need to talk about the people who create the conditions right. for all this hatred and bigotry. <clears throat> and again, why are we not having that conversation about white supremacy and white supremacist terrorists because they don't exist in a vacuum. The great replacement theory has been offered a mainstream home on Fox News. And even in the wake of Saturday's tragedy, the Murdoch network spent more time on that false, racist and dangerous subject than discussing the Buffalo mass shooting. Yeah, and on top of that, and, and just finally, really quickly, it's, uh, you know, I remember how almost every Muslim uh, leader in the country and around the world would have to come out and condemn every single act of terrorism as if they somehow spoke on behalf of all of these deranged terrorists. And yet here we are almost 24 hours later after uh, the Buffalo terrorist attack, domestic white supremacist terrorist attack. And we have not yet heard from Don't. every single Republican who has peddled in the great replacement theory to come out and condemn it and condemn this act. You have to start your show. But last point, Tucker Carlson will definitely <laughs> condemn it Monday night at the top of his show. Definitely.